you already know. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alyssa and today we are going to be trying out the new Tower 28 Mascara. Um, I just picked this up from Sephora this morning. <laughs> I almost bought a ton of other things, but I restrained myself and only got the one thing that I went for. I've been wanting to try out this mascara for pretty much ever since it came out. Once other people on YouTube started talking about it, I had to try it. <laughs> um, I really like the brand Tower 28. They're clean, they're cruelty free. Honestly, I only have one lip gloss from them, but... I just hear a lot of good things and I want to try more of their products out in the future. Um, it is $20 at Sephora. Online says it's a safe for sensitive eyes vegan mascara that lengthens, defines, and holds a curl with Aquaflex technology for amped up natural looking lashes. The Breakthrough Triple Wave Wand has three flexible suspended bands that lengthen and define every single lash plus build boldness. The clean formula is lightweight and endlessly buildable without getting crunchy or clumpy and is easy to wash off keeping irritation and breakage at bay. Which sounds right up my alley. My least favorite thing at the end of the day when I'm taking off my makeup is taking off my mascara. It's such a pain. I already have the rest of my makeup done so I'll put all the products that I used in the description box but I figured I would try this out on camera and then you know, wear it for probably eight hours, see how it wears, and maybe do a check-in at the end of the day. I really don't have an issue with most mascaras on my top lashes, um, but on my bottom lashes I really struggle with the mascara transferring to my under eyes and it's really annoying. So we'll see if this mascara does that and yeah. I'll probably have to try it out a few times just to give my full thoughts, but Let's just see what one day of wear looks like. Someone is mowing the lawn outside, so I apologize if you can hear that. Oh my word. I gotta show my makeup. Okay, I'm going to zoom you guys in a little closer. So this is what the packaging looks like. Really pretty. I love this lavender color. Purple is my favorite color. So, And then this is what the one looks like. Right, let's give this a try. I can already tell I'm not used to these types of wands. I usually tend to be drawn to more like thick, chunky, voluminizing wands and so it's just a little different than what I'm used to but it's definitely lengthens, it's definitely separated my lashes out which I really like. So this is what one coat looks like on me. I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye and then see if it builds up at all. Okay, this is what the mascara looks like on my eyes. This is two coats, probably a heavy two coats, but um, yeah, I really like how it looks. It's giving me the length and the volume that I really like, and I never had an issue with clumpiness or areas of my lashes getting stuck together that were difficult to work out, which I feel like can happen with some mascaras on my eyelashes, but hoping it lasts really well throughout the day and doesn't transfer to either my under eyes or my eyelids. Yeah, I'm going to go throughout my day not really going anywhere, pretty much staying home. I did all my errands this morning. Uh, probably take the dog for a walk. It is 2.30 now, so I'll probably check back in before I go to bed and give you guys an update on how it wore. Okay, we are here on a different day. <laughs> um, I was not able to film a check-in that night that I first tried all the mascara, so here we are. 
I've been wearing it the last few days and I have it on today as well. Um, I've been wearing it for probably the last seven or eight hours and I just did a really light single coat on my lashes today and I think it's really pretty. So final thoughts on the Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara. I really like it. One that I'll use every day. It was really easy to use and wasn't clumpy. It separated my lashes really nicely, gave them length, but it also builds up really well. I also didn't have any transfer on my under eyes, which is a huge plus. There was a little teeny bit of flaking at the end of the day. Um, I was able to just take a powder brush and wipe it away and it looked like nothing even was there. So um, that is my only negative, if it's really a negative. I did just want to say also that I have naturally long, pretty long lashes. So this mascara might work really well for me, but it might not work for other people and that is totally fine. That's totally okay. We're all different products are going to look different on all of us and they are just not going to look the same on every person. I remember when the Bite Beauty Upswing Mascara was all the rave on every social media. Like They were doing a sale and I had to buy it and it just looked awful on my eyelashes. It was so clumpy and just did not work well. So some things that might be super popular might just not work well for other people and that is totally fine. Alright, that is it for the video and for the review. If you liked this video, thought it was helpful, give it a like. You can subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.